All right, what we're going to do today is a quick tutorial on installing OSE drivers. Uh, today I'm working on a, a Windows 8.1 machine, um, and we're going to install a Colorway 500, OSE Colorway 500. Uh, first thing you'll need to do is go to downloads.ose.com, select your product, and download the driver. Um, for time purposes, I've already done that. We have right here Windows Print Driver 2.14, which is currently the latest model. Once you've downloaded that, you can run that executable. You're going to hit yes. And the driver will start to install. Once it comes up to this screen, you typically do not want to unpack files. Always just go with the install. Um, we've run into issues when you unpack that uh, not everything gets installed correctly. This is your typical licensing agreement, so you can read through that if you'd like. And then once we get to choose a mode. I always do express installation. Once again, that makes it easy, makes let the driver install everything it needs to. Click next. And this is where you need to enter the host name or the IP address of the printer. I always prefer to use the IP address. So our machine here is 192.168.10.201. And I'll click next. You can see here, if it finds the printer, it'll give you the OSE Colorway 500-WPD2. This is what's going to show up in your print driver options, so you can change that to be named whatever you would like. If you would like to share it, you can share it here. And we're going to go ahead and say install. Okay. Some people at this point like to hit test, print a test page. I do not. The driver, when it's installed, um, defaults to paper size to 34 by 44 and we don't use 34 by 44 a whole lot so I'm not going to use that. Here's our OSA Colorway 500. If you right click and go to Printing Preferences or Printer Properties, I'll go ahead and click on Printer Properties. This is your typical Windows page here and then at that point I like to go into Preferences and set our default preferences. Typically what I like to do is, uh, on your page size, uh, go in and set that to 36 by 24. Remember when OSE is talking about paper size, the first number is going to be the width. So if you're printing on a 36 inch wide roll or landscape, you want it to be 36 inches wide by 24 inches long. I'll select that. Um, and that's all I typically do for the Colorwave 500. I will do another tutorial on other options within the printing preferences. Thank you and have a good day.